Hello friends, today we are going to learn about multi-level inheritance as we completed with single level inheritance. Multi-level inheritance. Multi-level inheritance is nothing but deriving a class from the base class and derived one more class from the derived class. It is called as intermediate base class. In C++ programming, a class can be derived from a derived class which is known as multi-level inheritance. It comprises two or more level. The derived class is inherited from the direct base class which in turn is derived from another base class. If you see in the example, grandfather father and child child has derived some attributes or the features from his father and father get the attributes or the activities or the feature from his father so for child the base class become a grandfather and a derived class become a father so over here father intermediate base class which is from which child class is derived in general format of multi-level inheritance we can see a class a from class a we derived one base class and one more base class is derived from the class b it is also called as intermediate class. You can read over here the class B is derived from a class A and class C is derived from derived base class B. Here is an example or program for understanding how multi-level inheritance can be done. <clears throat> we are working on one example over here person is a base class we define an data member as access public access specifier over there we declared some variable character name age we declare a void get function which is help us to receive the name and the age of person Accordingly, we declared one more member function void show. It will help us to display the name and age. That is, over here we ask the user to enter the name and the age. Using scene, we accepted the name and age. Accordingly, we are supposed to show to the user what name and age is displayed. So, accordingly, the name and age will be displayed onto the screen using void show function. Over here, we declared a class employee a visibility mode is public and the base class is person so from person we derived a class employee again we declared some variable that is int id and salary for employee id and salary is most important over here same thing we are repeating We're declaring one more function void get it is basically used for accessing or receiving values like employee ID and the salary using C out. It will be displayed to the user to enter some value and using C in the values will be accepted by the system. Another member function we declared void show which will help to display the ID and the salary using C out method. Now one more class is declared over here it's full time visibility mode is public and employee it is a base class of person so the employee become intermediate class from which we de derived full time as a derived class now the same example we declared public as access specifier which will help us to declare the members or call the members in any other loop in the same program 
we declare int as a working hours another function void get it is help us to receive the working hours from the from the user using c out the message will be displayed on the screen and using c in user will enter the those values for working hours now another member function is declared under full time class that is void show it is also help to display the working hours of that employee so working hours it will be displayed using c out method now we are on the void main that is a main class or which using full time object o we are accessing all the information of the employee as well as person for here get method person show method employee show method and show method which will display the information regarding person employee and their own detail including id salary and working hours of that employee this is how we can do a multi level inheritance using base class from which we derived one class and from the derived class itself we derived one more class it is called as a multi level inheritance so in this loop we call all the three classes in a single loop example class student store the roll number class test store the marks obtained in two subject class result store the total marks obtained in a test class the class test result inherited the design of the marks obtained in the test and roll number of the student through the multi level inheritance references is as given on the screen thank you